Welcome to Minecraft the Movie Part 2. So far we've built a humble mansion and mined enough resources for some pretty sweet armor. It's time for us to go to the nether and take down this dragon once and for all. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Minecraft the Movie Part 2. We're going to find these guys and take them down. Jake, how do we know where they're going to be? I have no idea, Logan. That's why we got to look for them. There's no call for, hey, Grafer, come out and fight. Oh, there they are. Jake, I, I thought you said there were two guys. Yeah, look behind us, Logan. I got eagle vision. All right, look. I'll take this guy. You take that guy. I'll meet up in the middle. Oh, oh no, he has an enchanted bow and arrow. You're mine now. I got him. Oh no, Logan needs my help. I got him. Oh, I, I, thought, I, I thought you needed my help. No, that was pretty easy, Jake. Oh no, here he is. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you put him down! You put him down right now! That's Mr. Mooshooms! No, no, that's Mr. Mooshooms! You give him back right now! What? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Loogie's there! You're going down! Oh no! We almost got him! Oh. oh, buddy! It's okay! It's okay! Papa Jake's back! Oh, you're probably out for a scare with that Enderman. All right. Oh, well, we took care of him pretty well. And we got Mr. Mooshooms back. <laughs> Let's head back to base, guys. That was quite the battle. And we are back with day 70. Today, we are gonna be upgrading and making even more epic. But before we jump into that, guys, I did wanna remind you in all of these videos, at the end, we give a huge shout out to one of our awesome squad members. If you wanna be a part of the squad, it's really easy. All you gotta do is subscribe, hit the bell button, and comment hashtag squad. Are you? Okay, that's not how you do it, brother. You need to get into it. You need to get your feet down and your mind in the game and yell hashtag squad the top of your lungs and for y'all you guys at home uh, that means comment hashtag squad but guys before we start upgrading and doing some more crafting today of course we need to do some resource gathering but I wanted to show you guys what we have so far and what we've been working on so right here is our minecraft fort it's two stories of awesomeness we've got an activated piston here which fires out Jake actually built this all himself we got over here a crafting table we've got a furnace these are probably my two favorite parts of the fort we got the armor stand over here and we have a secret door right here. Now, we don't tell anyone about it. So if you guys tell anyone about my secret door, I'm going to be really mad, okay? Now, when you pull this like this, the secret door opens. And that's where we have our chest with all of our diamonds and all our goodies. So today's mission is actually pretty intense. We are going to the nether. Whoa, whoa, before we go to the nether though, we do need to make some additions to the base. We are gonna make a bigger second story, so we have a full second story that I'm gonna turn into a workshop. And we do need to get some food because we've been out here for a while only eating Minecraft food and I'm kinda hungry. So maybe we build like a smoker so we can smoke our food and get some yum yum yums. Or Jake, we could just a little cheat meal, you know, go down the nope, street nope, nope, to the restaurant. Doing it for real guys, a nice this restaurant. is for real life. We sleep here, we live here, we eat here. And if it's not in Minecraft, we don't get to eat it. I've been living on apples and bread the past week. And I feel great. Logan, you need to go gather some resources with the equipment that we have because we are kind of low on stuff. While you're gathering the resources, I think I'm gonna start working on the workshop so we can get a ton of new stuff made. Speaking of new stuff, Logan, we got a creeper coming this way. Jake, I'll get him with the sword. No, 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 no. Let him get the piston. We're gonna be a-okay, right? We're not okay. Move, Jake, move, move, move. piston didn't work. Creeper. Ugh. Oh. Nice. Your redstone piston machine doesn't work. Check it out, we got gunpowder. Maybe I should add the gunpowder to the piston machine and shoot out TNT. We make a TNT cannon. Jake, that might be a little dangerous. Well, I mean, it's dangerous, but it's better than a piston that shoots arrows. Okay, all right, well, that, that can come later, okay? You go gather your resources. I'm gonna start expanding the fort and making the second story. We did a little bit of upgrading inside the fort, cleaned it up a little bit, made it a little bit more livable. So now we got the bed moved over here. I also have my armor stand, which looks super sick behind the LEDs. I think that looks awesome. So any new armor I grab, I can put on the armor stand. Just like 
like you would do in Minecraft. I also had to move the uh, crafting table over here, kind of close to my secret door, but I think it makes it more secretive. Time to start mining some materials so we can build our awesome workshop. <laughs> Something just shoot me? Oh no guys, it's a skeleton. Okay, you're going down, Mr. Skeleton. You don't mess with the Loganator. I got the best sword skills in the game. And I think I'm ready for the nether. Guys, check it out, we got the dog right here. Can I tame you? Flew for the dog, you are now officially my Minecraft dog. I don't have any bones for you, but. If I did, I would give you all, all the bones in the world. So you're you're mine now. You're Logan's. You're not Logan's. Floofer, we have a mission today, and that is to get some water from the ocean using my steel pail. Let's grab our water ah, and head back to the farm. So we're back at the farm, and first things first, we need to make sure that we dig out a little section for our water so we can fertilize the crops. Uh, I'm also growing some nice flowers too, so you know, maybe we can make some dye. Guys, we should grab some flowers and make an awesome banner using the loom. I can grab dye, and then we can dye the banners and have our own individual banners. Like the Papa Jake house. All right, now time for our one watermelon seed. Boop, place you there, and fertilize. Just like in Minecraft, you need a nice block of water beside wherever you're farming. And that's how you grow food nice and fast. Probably how real farmers do it, because I'm a real farmer. Tomorrow morning, we should have a fresh watermelon. We are converting this Minecraft base into a Minecraft mansion. We got this entire section of the fort on two stories. There'll be a back entrance into this second story, and we'll have a nice handy dandy workshop up here with all the new Minecraft updates. <laughs> So check this out guys, we actually made the entrance to the second story outside. So you come out the back door here and then you open up this door here. So check it out guys, we've got the second story workshop. Ugh. So you come up like so and we are now on the second story. It has a ton of room to add all of our new stuff. I'm thinking we add the loom, we add the blast furnace. I also wanna add a smoker to make some good food. I was thinking today we could go fishing and get some fish and then smoke it in the smoker and then we got some nice fish. Also, my favorite part about this is the fact that you can see outside and it's got such a sweet and nice view. Doggy, do you wanna join our fort? <laughs> Don't leave me. Come back. Jake? Jake, what, what, what are you doing? It's not Jake. What do you mean it's not Jake? What? Okay, okay, fine, it's it's Jake. This is looking absolutely right. incredible, except for that. What is that, that's Jake? Our, that's our chimney where the smoke comes out. Uh, okay, Jake. But dude, this has to be on par with some of our biggest box forts of all time. It is getting huge, and it's only day seven, Logan. This I mean, is a box fort mansion. Dude, if we get 50,000 likes and we go to day 400, the whole world is a box fort. Next, we gotta build an island. Ooh, an island, that would be sweet, guys. An island Minecraft box fort. But, Logan, I wanted to show you some of the cool inside stuff because now that we have your resources, we can finally put them inside the workshop and start building some new cool stuff. Jake, that weird guy is back. <sighs> it's Friendly Phil. Yes, Friendly Phil. What do you want? Hey, guys, it's Friendly Phil. Every time you come here, something bad happens, so it better be good. Looks like an awfully big fort you got here. I thought your guys' fort got destroyed. Well, yeah, Friendly Phil, but we're Minecraft pros, so we rebuilt the whole thing in like four hours. Yeah, it kind of took a long time. Sun's actually starting to set. I mean, it's a nice fort, but aren't you guys sick of Minecraft? What about all the dangers? Like the creepers, the skeletons? Yeah, Friendly Phil, I think we can handle some skeletons and creepers, okay? No, we're not yeah, sick I of Minecraft at all. I just took out a skeleton. The viewers are destroying that like button again, 50,000 likes a video. Plus we're about to go to the nether. The nether? You guys are going to the nether. The nether's dangerous. I told you, no nether, no caves. Okay, all right, Friendly, Friendly Phil. Be careful with Friendly Phil. It's, I'm being careful, okay? If we want to go to the nether, we're going to the nether, Friendly Phil, and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, I'm just trying to be Friendly Phil. You probably shouldn't go to the nether, it's dangerous. I mean, I think we spent enough time in Minecraft to go to the nether, but I mean, Jake, what if he's right? Logan, he's not right, okay? I don't know what Friendly Phil's up to, but every time he sees me, he tells me to stop going there, stop doing this, I'm starting to think you might not be so friendly. Don't say I didn't warn you. 
Friendly Phil. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Personally, I think Friendly Phil's up to something. It gives me the creeps. No, I mean, he did warn you about that cave, and look what happened. Yeah, but arguably that was his cave that he set up for me. I think we ignore Friendly Phil for now. Let's get back to the real business at hand. That is building my legit workshop. I say it's time we use those materials you gathered and build some awesome new items at our crafting table. So, Logan, I think first things first, what's one new item I want to use? Oh, I know what it is. The blast furnace. Everyone needs a blast furnace to smelt their ore faster. Three, two, one. Oh, and there we go. We got ourselves. Oh, dude. That's heavy. A blast uh, furnace. This is going in here into the workshop. Next item I want to craft is, oh, I know we'll do the loom because we're going to be making our very own banners today. Three, two, one. Oh, what does this do? This is the loom. This is how we're going to be crafting our banners and giving them some sweet designs. We're actually doing a lot of work on the workshop today, which I like, but we are still going to the nether guys. All right, next up, I think we're going to need a stone cutter for our brand new workshop. So Mr. Crafted Table, I'm going to give you the resources. You're going to give me a stone cutter in three, two, one. Whoa, brand new stone cutter. Ow, no, careful, dude. That's dangerous. This is going in the workshop. Jake, you're using all of our resources that we just mined. I know, I know, but it's important that we build a workshop because then we can expand the base with anything. Last item we're going to make today is one of my favorites and something we're going to be using for dinner. It's called the smoker. Here we go in three, two, one. Oh, brand new smoker that we're going to be using for cooking some fish tonight because I thought we could build a fishing rod and try some fishing. I mean, I am working on some watermelons, but we're out of chicken and Brad's been getting old and I'm kind of tired of apples, so why not fish? Jake, that's a great idea, except you're not very good at fishing. Whoa, okay there. Logan, I'm the best fisherman you've ever seen, okay? When I put my fishing rod in the water, all the fish come by because they're like, what's up, Papa Jake? Can I get an autograph? Because you're cool. Okay, Jake, the sun is going down. We need to get cooking. First, before we go catch some fish and build a fishing rod, why don't we check out the brand new workshop that is my passion project. Oh, the workshop's actually looking pretty good. Check it out. Oh, dude, this is awesome. And it's on the second story, which is sweet. We got our stone cutter, our furnace, our loom, and our smoker. It's not too shabby, not too shabby. Plus, we have another room that we can build under here so we can keep expanding the base with unlimited possibilities. That's why I keep telling you guys, if you have anything you think we should add onto this base, be sure to comment down below. But before we get into using some of this stuff and building our banners, I think you're right, Logan. I think we need to go craft a fishing rod and do a little bit of fishing. Okay, Logan, well, in order to make a fishing rod, we need some sticks. And luckily, I have some in my secret hidden chest. So why don't we open up this bad boy here? Check it out. Oh, there she is, the hidden chest. Some diamonds, lots of steel, not bad. Ooh, slime. We have a lot of slime in here. Ah, sticks. Okay, now we'll use these to craft. Got my sticks ah, and my string, and all we need to do is use the magical powers of the crafting table to build a one, two, three, oh, fishing rod. Check this. This, maybe we should take the fishing rod out, outside before we check it out. My very own Minecraft fishing rod. Check it out. The sun is going down. It's the perfect time to fish because they're all sitting down for their dinner. And I'm about to serve them up some Chef Papa Jake. Oh, Jake, be careful with that. Chef, pa Chef pa Papa Jake. All right, here we go. Cast it out. And now we wait. Oh, oh Logan, I got a big one here. Hold on. Oh, he's fighting me, brother. Oh. Oh. Where'd it go? Where's the fish? Jake, that's not how you do it. Oh, look, we got a fish. Time to take this fish to the smoker and make some dinner. Now I'm officially inside the workshop and it's time to cook some fish. Logan's back down th th there. L Logan? What, Jake? Uh, that, just, just saying hi. But anyway, we're gonna be using our nice little smoker here to cook our fish. So I already put it in. Close up the lid here and we're gonna let it cook for about one, two, three, and it should be ready. Get out, pull this down. Ooh, I think I see some nice fresh fish. Check it out. We've got some smoked and cooked fish. Oh, Jake, that actually looks really good. I bet, brother, why don't you grab one right now? It's dinner time in the Papa Jake Minecraft fort. That's pretty good. I think we did a really good job making this slow cooker. Talk to you. It's about Papa Jake. What happened? 
weapons. Oh, uh, well, Papa Jake and Logan are still in Minecraft. Why are they still in Minecraft? I was gonna destroy their base, but they came back anyway. I did everything you said. The Grievers, everybody, they haven't left. The longer they are in Minecraft, the more likely they are to find me. Well, I mean, sir, they might not find you. You are very far away. And who in their right mind looks for a big dragon? If I haven't made myself clear, we have an agreement. You stop Papa Jake, or else. Yes, sir. Very clear. I'll, uh, I'll go back and get him out of here. I promise. We are back inside our fort after eating a nice yum yum dinner. It is currently, uh, well, it's getting kind, it's getting kind of dark out. Uh, we've spent a lot of the day building. We got a lot of stuff upgraded inside the fort, and this place is just looking super sweet. Guys, check out my bedroom. It's on the second story. Yeah, Logan just had to have his own bedroom. It's kind of better than Jake's bedroom, that's for sure. That's fine, man. I'm, I'm a full bedroom down here to myself. And we have my bedroom, where we get to see the nice, beautiful ocean. And oh my gosh, Jake, that's an Enderman. Jake, there's an Enderman outside our fort. Hey, don't look at it, man. If you don't look at the end, you guys didn't look at the Enderman, right? Jake, don't look in the eyes. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Look, this is all over again. Where's Mooshrooms? I want to make sure he's okay. Mooshrooms, get over here. Come here, boy. <laughs> No Enderman's getting you this time. All right, Logan, what you need to do is I'm gonna go to sleep. While I sleep, you fight off the Enderman. Jake, come on, now's our chance, we can get him. All right, but I'm doing it for Mr. Mooshooms. Uh, armor stand comes in handy. I'm doing this for you, you stay here. All right, guys, I'll grab my sword. Uh, he's gone. The, the Enderman's gone. Where did he go? I don't know, Jake, he was right here. Well, maybe he got scared away from my Kung Fu power. Crisis averted, Papa Jake saved the day once again, guys. We are safe to head back in the fall. Logan, we got a skeleton. It's approaching. Watch out! Oh. Ah. I mean, at least it wasn't an Enderman. All right, well, that, that's fine. I mean, it is a nighttime. Mobs are spawning. There's probably skeletons, creepers all around, but that's okay. That's why we got Maybe we door. just lock our doors tonight that's and go to bed. We lock the doors, we go to bed. Uh, Logan, another skeleton. Dude, where are all these skeletons coming from? Look, we can go inside our base and chill all we want, but if there's a ton Dude, of skeletons- There's another one. Oh no, come on. Wait, Jake, there's a spawner. How did a spawner get so close to our base? We've been all around this place, we've never seen a spawner. We gotta get this thing out of here. Oh no, another one. All right, let's get rid of this and fast. We got lucky we found a spawner could overrun the entire house. As far as I can tell, Logan, we've been around this entire place. I mean, we've scavenged the entire area for resources. We would have seen a skeleton spawner there. That means somebody placed it. Yeah, I guess that is kind of suspicious, but who would have done that? I'm telling you, man, it's that helpful Pete or whatever his name was. You mean friendly Phil? Yes, friendly Phil, okay? The not so friendly dude. Someone put it there. Look, I think first thing in the morning, we need to set up our nether portal and get into the nether. Maybe we can find some more information in there. But tomorrow is the nether portal. So get some rest, Logan. Because we don't know what's going to be on the other side of that thing. See you in the morning. Ooh, what is going on, everyone? Good morning. It is another lit day in the box for. And we are back, and it is days. I don't even know what day it is, but I I had a great sleep last night. We need to wake up. Logan, get up. What's up, dude? How'd you sleep up there? I actually realized Logan has a little bit of advantage because last night I kept getting ants crawling in my bed, which is not fun. So you actually sleeping up there probably had a lot less ants than me. So that, that's nice. And today is an extremely special day because it is the day we finally get to build our nether portal and go to the nether. Before we do that, Jake, I think I need to eat breakfast. Well, Logan, I'm glad you mentioned that because today's breakfast, I got something extra special. You see, last night while you were out gathering resources, I actually went ahead and planted some watermelon. We got a fully grown watermelon. I knew it was gonna work. Ah! Oh, now that, that's breakfast. That is breakfast. Look at this, it's fresh. It's grown straight from the farm. What more can you ask for when you're living in real life Minecraft? Guys, I am looking forward to this sweet watermelon. Now the key to a good watermelon cut is you get your ax, you put it right in the middle, and you just give her a good swing like that. And we got watermelon! I don't think that's how you eat a watermelon. That's how you eat a watermelon. Mm. Think you're dripping everywhere. 
Let them know. We got a warm up. Mmm. All right, guys, now that we're all filled up on our watermelon, I think it's time we head back inside because we got a lot of planning to do before we head to the nether. And we actually had a really awesome idea suggested to us by one of you guys. Huge shout out to Short Clips for suggesting that we use our brand new loom to make some awesome banners. We're back inside the workshop and time to use the brand new loom. I think it's time we put this bad boy to the test, Logan. Jake, I'm going first. Here we go. All right, stick it in. And here we go. Oh, dude, that's actually pretty sick. All right, dude, time to put my banner inside. And here we go. Oh, that is sick. Check it out. My we got our Jake custom banner. banners. All right, let's go put these on the front of the fort. Oh, yeah. Don't mess with the L squad. Okay, all right, that looks pretty cool, but I think I'm gonna put mine here hanging off the roof. The nice Papa J banner. It can flap in the wind. It looks cool. I think our base is starting to look pretty awesome. Well, in order to build our nether portal, we're gonna need a bunch of obsidian and my flint and steel. Then once we're done, we just strike it with the flint and steel and boom, we have a nether portal. I got my diamond armor, my diamond helmet, my diamond sword. Jake, I don't have any armor. Well, you got a diamond sword. Oh, okay, I have an idea, I have an idea. Why don't you build a new shield? Let's build our shield in three, two, one. Oh, guys, check out this shield. All right, Logan, while, while you were making your shield, I set up the nether portal. Nice shield, by the way. I think it is time to activate this nether portal. Good thing I have my flint and steel. Are you ready for this, Logan? My first nether portal. Never been so ready in my life, Jake. Here we go. In three, two, one. A little scared? Let's do this together, come on. Logan, is that you? What's going on? Jake, I don't know what this thing is. Get it off of me, get it off. I don't know what that is, I've never seen it before. Oh, dude, you got it, nice. Jake, where were you? I uh, I was just take, taking my time to get into the nether. I, I was making sure everything was safe in the base at home. You know, I'm make sure it was you clean. were delaying, Jake. I was delaying a little bit, but man, I told you not to run in here alone. Look, you ran into some sort of cube monster thing. That could have been worse. It could have been an evil skeleton. It's like we fall into some sort of red world. Why well, is it really hot? I don't like it in here. Oh, Jake, the nether is scary. Okay, well we're here. We we should go somewhere, right? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I I've, I've only know a little bit about the nether, but well, from what I've heard, it opens up past this cave system. We should be able to mine our way out of here. Only problem is we gotta be very careful. We don't wanna mine into the wrong cave and run into the wrong people. It could be one of these walls. Maybe we should mine. Well, Logan, what are you doing? You can't just start mining without even telling me. What if you run into lava? I don't know, aren't we surrounded by lava? I mean, technically, yes, but you could be mining into someone's house for all we know. What do you see? Oh, Jake, it doesn't look very nice in there. Well, it looks like it definitely opens up into some other room. Let's just hope it's a safe place. I don't see any evil bad guys. Should I go first? Oh, sir, are you in there? I got some bad news. Yeah, so, sir, they're in the nether. What do you mean, they're in the nether? I did everything I could, I swear, but yeah, they're in the nether. I told you. To stop them failed me too many times. I don't want to see you ever again. Oh, sir, I'm, I'm so sorry. I messed up. One more chance. One more chance. Now I will have to send my zombie pigmen after them and get them destroyed in the nether. No more second chances for you. I never want to see your face again. Oh, no. Uh, Could have made this hole a little bit bigger, Logan. Oh, Logan? I have never seen a place like this in Minecraft before, guys. Come on, Logan, come on out here. Dude, check this place out. This is one of the weirdest places I've ever been in Minecraft. Yeah, this place looks really weird. Guys, this has to be one of the weirdest places we've ever been in Minecraft. I mean, just look at this place. Jake, what's that? Dude, I know exactly what that is. <gasps> That's a zombie pigman. They're one of the bad guys in the nether. See, the cool thing about these guys, Logan, is they actually won't hurt you unless you touch them. See? Hey, Zombie Pigman, what's up? You won't even attack me. He's completely- Ow! Ow! What's going on? Why is he attacking me? Never attack him! Could we just stand there, Logan? He's gone rogue or something! <laughs> Guys, I do not know why that thing just attacked me. They're not supposed to do that. They're, they're only supposed to do that if you hit them. Oh, you look pretty aggressive, Jake. I don't know what's going on. That, that's not how it's supposed to work in the nether. I, mean, I don't know everything about here. Logan, watch out! Ah! Use your shield! 
Guys, what's going on? Why are these things attacking us? I have a bad feeling about this place, Logan. Something's going on here. Yeah, man, it's the nether. People talk about this place being the scariest place. Exactly why I said we shouldn't have just gone through the portal. We weren't ready. I mean, all you have is a shield, and yeah, at least I have diamond armor. It's true. A lot of people in the comments were saying we need to enchant our armor. There are a lot of treasures in here that we can find, and a lot of resources we can get, but guys, it might not be worth the risk. Oh, Logan, Look what are this. you doing? No, don't what touch. Is this? We just discovered, don't touch anything. This. Is it? That's glowstone, Logan. Jake, this is it for me. What do you mean it's it for you? I like this. That's great, but I, like I said, let's not touch it. You're gonna break that thing, and all, for all you know, there's gonna be a spider. Logan, do not break that thing. Logan, I told you not to break it. Why not? Because we don't know what's behind there. There's nothing. Something's going on in this nether, Logan. I think we need to get out of here and fast. Oh, no. Jake, there's another one. Logan, Logan, Logan we got another problem. There's a gas, Logan. We got a gas right in front of us. Glowstone. <laughs> Logan, Logan, turn around, we got bigger problems, it's a gas! Ah! What is that thing? It flies and shoots fireballs, try to fight them! Ah! Got it! Nice! Logan, we almost got taken out by a gas, this is no time for glowstone! Something's going on here, man. Everything in the nether is trying to attack us, and we are very underprepared. I mean, just look at that! You almost got hit by a fireball if I wasn't here to save you! This is really, really cool. It's a glowstone. Look, and I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a glowing diamond block. We need to figure out a way to get out of here. Guys, this is not a safe place. Look. I'll see you later, Jake. Wait, what? No, no, Logan, where are you, where are you going? No, Lo Logan, Logan! Come on! We need to go back to the nether portal! Okay, fine! Oh, guys, I think we went through another portal. We're back in Minecraft. Logic, I don't think this is the nether. No, it's not. Looks like we've traveled back into the Minecraft. Logan, I told you we shouldn't have gone through there. We need to get home and fast. These nether portals lead to anywhere in Minecraft. We could be millions of miles away from our house. I don't even know where we are. I don't see anything. Jake, how do we go back to the nether? Oh no. I want to go back to the nether. We got bigger problems right now, Logan. We got a skeleton fast approaching. All right, watch out, don't get too close. Oh, Ow. oh that was close. See, Logan, I told you, this place is dangerous. We need to get out of here and back to home base. I don't even know where the nether portal is now. I think we have bigger problems. There's an enderman. Oh, no. All right, don't take him out. Oh, Jake, no. he disappeared. He's right here. I got him. Oh, I got him. Jake, what is this? What's what? I don't know. What is this? He must have dropped an ender pearl. It's an ender pearl. Okay, Logan, that's something we got to learn about later, all right? We need to get back home. Whatever you do, just do not throw that thing. Okay, let's... No, Logan, no! No, Logan. He's gone. Oh, no, 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 Logan. Over here. What? How'd you get up? Okay. Found the portal, it's just over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. You need to get out of here. Guys. It's just friendly Phil. Guys, yeah, he's crossed us too many times. I need to confess. Confess what? I need to let you guys know I've been working with the dragon. Working with the dragon? Why are you working with the dragon? He was holding me prisoner. He wants you guys out of Minecraft. So I destroyed your bases. He locked you up in that prison. I knew it. I knew it was you, Friendly Phil. I knew it was all you. It he... wasn't me. It was the dragon. Well, clearly you were working for him. I, I, I believe Friendly Phil. I feel like he's friendly deep down. Friendly Phil is friendly. So now you're not working for the dragon anymore? No, I came to tell you guys. It's dangerous. We need to leave. I want to join you guys. All right, fine. You know what? If you truly are not working with them anymore, then you can join us. Look, meet us back at our base. We're gonna go back into the nether and head back there now. We'll talk when we get there. Friendly Phil, I forgive you. Thank you, Logan. All right, guys, we need to figure out a way to get back home and fast. If what Friendly Phil said is true, that means we have the end dragon coming after us. We need to get home, reinforce the base, gather as much cure as we can. This is not looking too good for us, Logan. Oh, I spoke too soon. We got another zombie pigment. Take him out, Logan. Nice. All right, dude, let's get back to our nether portal and get out of here. I don't want to stay in this place one second longer. Jake, what is that? No, no more glowstone. We need to get out of here now. Jake, just one more glowstone. No, no, no more glowstone, Logan. We need to get back. Did you not hear what I he said? I just want one more glowstone. And the end dragon's after us. Logan, Logan. What? You agree with the glowstone? No, not the glowstone. Look in front of you. I think this is a nether fortress. This actually might work, guys. If we can get inside this nether fortress, 
There's been known to be extremely good loot in here. Oh, Jake, I think you were right with the whole portal thing. Let's just go home. For once, Logan, I think we do need to stay here. We need to go inside this nether fortress and gather what loot we can. It could have it could have enchanted diamond armor for all we know. We're gonna need everything if we're gonna take on this dragon. Here, pass me a pickaxe. I'm going through the wall. Okay. Now you go first. Jake, I'm not going first. Well, I broke the wall. I'm almost tired. You have diamond armor. I'm tired from breaking the walls. So I gotta mine it. Okay, fine, fine. Whoa, dude, check it out. Look at this place. This another fortress is huge. I'm going in. I mean, it's scary, but not too scary. Now all we need to do is find out where they're keeping their treasure. We'll take whatever we can find and get out of here and back to our base. Looks like there's a door up ahead. Oh no, we got a skeleton! Ah. He hit me! Ah. Ah. Gone, Logan, come on, get in here. Looks like there's a door at the other end. We can get through there, and maybe find the chest. Careful, we don't know what's behind this door. Hello? Oh, don't knock on the door, we don't want to alert anyone! What? What's that sound? Something in here. Oh no, Logan, it's a blaze! Watch out! Jake, what's a blaze? One of the deadliest creatures in the nether. We don't want to go near that thing. Arguably, we just go back home right now. No, no, no. All right, we're out. We're out. We're going home. Jake, we're going home. I saw a chest. Yeah, I don't care if you saw a chest. Logan, there's a blaze Jake, in there. We we get the blaze and then we get the chest and and there's probably some armor for me. Okay, fine. I'll try and take out the blaze. All right. So I'm doing this for you guys. For Minecraft. I don't know. I'm not going in there. Jake. What's going on? Guys, that does not sound good. Jake, how's it going? Jake, Logan, do something! He's hitting me a lot! Back up with your sword! Oh, dude, good job. Thanks for saving me there. Check it out. I think I see something. It's the nether chest. Oh, dude, we are in business. Yo, enchanted axe, gold ingots, diamond, horse armor. Logan, we hit the jackpot with this nether castle. This is everything we need to fortify our fort. This ender dragon is not gonna know what hit him. All right, let's grab this gear and get out of here. We need to get back to our fort and start improving it so we can take on this dragon. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Oh, we're back in Minecraft. Logan? Jake, I'm never going back there. Yeah, that was a really scary place. I do not want to go back to the nether anytime soon. All right, let's get back to our fort and, oh no, is that friendly Phil? No, 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 friendly Phil! You're destroying our fort! Where did our fort go? Who talked about this? You're on our team now, what's going on? Oh, hey guys, what are you doing back from the nether? What do you mean what we're doing back from the nether? We told you we'd meet you back here where you were gonna join our team. You've destroyed our entire fort. I didn't know you guys were actually gonna make it back. I'm just doing what the dragon said. Oh no, I messed up, didn't I? Yeah, you did. You completely destroyed the fort. We had an agreement. I'm just, I'm terrified of the dragon, Jake. How are you not terrified? Brother Phil, I told you, it's because I'm Papa Jake. I can take on the dragon, okay? I got diamond armor, I got my sword. I, I thought you were our friend. I wanna be your friend, but the dragon, guys, the dragon. I don't care about the dragon friendly, Phil, okay? I can take on the dragon, and we needed the fort to do that. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm just scared of him. Today is a brand new day. It is currently uh, the day, day eight, day, day nine. Logan, what day is it? Oh, Logan's inside the fort. What day is it today? Oh, I think it's day nine. It, it might in fact be day nine, guys. If you did not know, this is the series where we survive in real life using only Minecraft items. Now behind me, you might remember in the last video, Friendly Phil, not so Friendly Phil, completely destroyed our entire fort. So we've been working hard on rebuilding it as best as we can. And in today's video, I thought it would be really sweet to turn this into a three-story Minecraft fort. Okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna start working on this fort and getting the third story ready because we wanna have an awesome fort to survive in today because we are gonna be surviving in here for 24 ow, ow, hours, 20, 24 hours. There we go. 
a nice little hour's work of mining, and I've got us some sweet resources in the form of wood blocks. So check this thing out. This is insane. We have been working on the three-story fort for a little over an hour now, and this thing has to be one of the biggest forts we have ever built outside. You got the first floor, the second floor, the third floor. I don't even see, Lo Logan, oh, dude, look at him. Look how high up you are. Oh, Jake, I'm really high. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. You're like oh. twice the height of me. This is a little scary up here. <laughs> I mean, at least it'll give us a really big lookout in case any bad guys are coming during the night, but we still have a ton of stuff to do. We still gotta finish up the second story. Obviously add a bunch of windows and check it out. The fort is finally complete. This thing is absolutely massive. Our three-story Minecraft fort. We got the one, we got the two, we got the three, all of it in one little Minecraft area. Absolutely massive. This actually might be the tallest fort we've ever built outside before. I mean, we've done three stories before, but never this tall and outside. I mean, you can almost touch the stars, Logan. There were stars out, there's, there's not stars out. But why don't we go inside and check out the interior? Because we've done a lot with this Minecraft fort. As you can see over here, we have our workshop. We got everything we need for our crafting, cooking, smelting. We got the blast furnace, we've got a stone cutter. We even have a loom for creating awesome banners. Behind me though, is where things get more interesting. This is our chill area. This is where we got our beds as well as storage for a bunch of our equipment. We got our backpacks, shield over here. We even have our crafting table in case we need to craft anything. And behind me, I've got my armor stand. So I can place my armor over there and leave it looking nice and tidy while I sleep during the night. Under here, we have some extra storage area. It's actually a lot of storage area. So that's underneath the second and third story. So it's a little scary. I mean, I wouldn't want to sleep under there, but it's definitely a cool place. We haven't really filled it in yet. So if you guys have any ideas, maybe we could do like an enchanting room in there. All right, let's head upstairs. We got the two story and the three story. We've got our chest behind us with all of our awesome goodies. We're keeping it up here on the second story. And on the third story, we have our smoker and some awesome glowstone, which you guys know I love my glowstone. I got it from the nether yesterday. We also got our bow and arrow up here. So if we're looking out the top third story, we get a great vantage point on anyone coming towards the base. We can take them out with the bow in case they get too close. And guys, check out how awesome the third story view is. Okay, so we come up to the third story. So oh, we are standing on the third story of our fort and it is the perfect lookout for any enemies approaching. Like who's that? Phil. What's Friendly Phil doing here? I guess we should go say hi. He's just kind of standing there. Well, Friendly Phil, what's going on here? You're not coming back to ruin our fort again, are you? No, Jay. I've come to join the team. Well, you guys did all vote in the comments, and it looks like everyone wants Friendly Phil to join our team, even though he's been working with the dragon, and he destroyed our fort twice, not to mention locked me up in prison. I, I guess don't think he's that bad, Jake. Fine. You know what? Fine. I guess Friendly Phil gets to join the team. Don't high five him. All right, Friendly Phil, you're on the team, but you gotta pull your weight around here. I found this treasure map! I thought you could use it! Whoa, 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 this might just be another trap, Friendly Phil. What do you mean, treasure map? Whoa, 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 okay, so you're telling me that this is some sort of treasure map, and not a trap. It says treasure right there. I traded a villager for it! You got your house on here, Phil. And the dragon. Yeah, that's where he lives, he's a bad man! We don't need to go there! The only problem is, Phil, where are we on this map? Well, we're somewhere... So we have half a treasure map, and maybe a treasure that isn't even a treasure, just another trap. No, I swear it is! The villager gave it to me! Jake, I think we should go after this. I mean, it says treasure right there. Why don't we just try? I mean, yeah, if it is a real treasure, then it definitely has resources we could use to take on the dragon. The only problem is we're gonna need to complete the map, which means I need to get farming and I need paper. Also, what kind of treasure is this, Phil? Is it buried? Of course it's buried! It's treasure! All right, if it's buried treasure, we don't want to be out there for too long, which means we're going to need a way to excavate the ground. I got it. We use TNT. You got Jake, a gunpowder. We could just use a shovel. No, 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 Logan. If we're going to do this, we do this right. We don't want to sit there digging for hours and hours on end. What we need to do is gather TNT. But Jake, what if you blow up the treasure? That's a risk we're going to have to take. Here, how about this? I'll start working on gathering paper. It's a very hard and meticulous job. While you go fight a bunch of creepers. Well, what's Phil going to do? Here, Phil. Here's a stick and some wood. Make a fire. Okay, perfect. I can do that. All right, we all have our jobs. Now well, let's get to them. 
All right, guys, so while Logan's off battling creepers, getting us some gunpowder, I've got the extremely dangerous and hard task of creating paper. So I went ahead and gathered some of our sugar cane here. And right now it's not that big, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant it and grow it a little bit so that we can get some nice paper. So I'm gonna plant this one here. There we go. That should grow nice and big beside our water here. And I've got another one so we can get even more paper. Plant you right next to it, and there we go. The water should be able to fertilize the sugar cane. It should grow nice and tall. And then we'll harvest it for some paper. We also need to build another map so we can expand onto the map we already have and figure out exactly where this treasure is. I wish I had Logan's job. It's probably so easy right now. And we got some gunpowder. One down and two to go. Come on, fire! I got one right there. All your mind, creeper. Some gunpowder. All we need is one more. All right, I don't see any creepers up there. None over here. Okay, where are you creepers? Fire! We got another one. And we have the last bit of gunpowder. Oh, Phil, you need to make this fire. You need to impress Papa Jake. Come on, Phil, come on! All right, well, I think enough time's passed for our sugar cane to grow. Why don't we go ahead and check on it and see how it's done. Oh, guys, look at this. It has grown super big. All right, now all I need to do is harvest this and bring it to the crafting table to make paper. There we go. Now time to make some paper. Now we're at our crafting table here. It's time to convert our bamboo into some paper. So all we need to do is one, two, three. Ooh, and there we go, guys. We got ourselves some paper. I'm gonna go ahead and craft a new map right now, and hopefully we'll be able to use that map to expand on the treasure map and figure out where this treasure is. Once we have Logan's gunpowder, we can build our very first TNT block. And there we go, guys. The map is officially complete. Now that's what I call hard work. Oh, Logan, you're back. That was crazy, Jake. I had to take on three creepers. I mean, yeah, that, that, oh, you got the gunpowder, nice. I mean, yeah, I was, I was doing a lot of hard work too. I had to build this map and, and farm for the paper to get to build the map. But look, Logan, I figured out where we are. See, that's where the treasure is, where Friendly Phil's saying the treasure is. And we are all the way over here off the map through the forest, and that's where our house is. So all we need to do is, Jake. It looks like you just drew this. No, no, that's a Minecraft map. So all we need to do is head east through here, pass through the forest, and then take a sharp turn north, and X marks the spot. Okay, well then what are we waiting for, Jake? Well, all we need to do is take your gunpowder you got us, and build ourselves a little bit of TNT. I'll grab the sand we have from the chest, and go over to our crafting table, and make our very first TNT block. Had our gunpowder, there we go. And with the magic tap, we should have some TNT in three, two, one, whoa! And we got ourselves some TNT! Careful with that. Oh, dude, this thing's heavy. Uh, okay, probably the most dangerous thing we could possibly have inside of our fort, but we've got it. Now all we need to do is follow the treasure map into the scary forest, find where the X marks the spot, place this... Maybe we don't slap the TNT. Place this down, activate it, and watch our treasure come to life. It's officially time to go find ourselves a treasure. I've geared up completely with my diamond armor, got a shield, That's got a shield. sword. Well, I'm gonna be using it for today in case we get into some epic action. And we've got our map, which is a little big and massive, but all we need to do is travel from here all the way down here. So we got a lot of ground to cover and a lot of forest to get through. So I think we should head out now and try and find this treasure. All right, guys, enjoy. Well, if my map's correct, and I'm pretty sure it is, we are heading in the right direction. We're back in the forest of Minecraft. Now, I don't know if exactly this is gonna be marked with an X, so we might just have to start digging around, but we do have to be careful. Last time we were in these woods, we ran into some bad people. Should be right around here, which means the treasure should be just up ahead and to our right, probably somewhere in this forest here. Oh no, we got company. Jake, he looks really mad. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's my area. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, you guys here for the treasure? It's my treasure. No, it, it's our treasure. Oh, that was a close one. Looks like we're not the only ones who know about this treasure. All right, Jake, let's be fast. I don't want other people coming. The treasure should just be in here. Come on, guys. All right. 
Now, if my treasure finding skills are correct, and they normally are, treasure should be just under here. Yeah, this looks suspicious. All right, let's set the TNT up and blow this thing. All right, guys, we got the TNT. Time to place this very carefully. Okay. Now, once I ignite this thing, Logan, we need to run and get back. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, run! Whoa, that was a big bang. What's that? Dude, check it out. It must be the treasure. Completely blew the top layer off. I guess Friendly Phil was right. There really was a treasure here. Oh, Logan, we're in business. Oh, we got diamonds, enchanting books, eggs, milk. Okay, that comes in handy. Not to mention some potions. All right, we need to get this back to our base and fast. I wonder what we can make with those eggs. Logan, Logan, you got something behind you. It's a skeleton. Oh, you're mine. Careful, Logan. Okay, took down that guy pretty easily. Let's grab the supplies and get back to base. We need to start using this stuff if we're gonna take on the Ender Dragon. Oh, Jake, we have one more skeleton. Oh, I got this one, Logan. I know, Jake, I got this one. Ah, this bread is so hard. Ow, ow, it really, really hurts. I don't know, Brad, had so many uses in Minecraft. Well, I got your sword. Maybe I can have a dual wielding sword with a shield. Something pretty cool. Ow. All right, well, let's get back to base. We got a long way to go. All right, guys, we just made it back to home base after uh, securing, I think, one of the greatest chests we have ever found in real life Minecraft. That was also a crazy battle. That was, we, we did have a massive battle, but it's only to prepare us, Logan, for taking on the Ender Dragon. Everybody we fight now is just more XP to use against the Ender Dragon. Uh, friendly Phil? Phil, what's going on, man? Hey, Phil, you don't have a fire made yet? You've been working on this all day. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. What do you mean you're almost there? It's been like three hours. Phil, you're just still using the stick? Yeah, guys, making fire's not as easy as it looks. I, I don't think you're doing it right. All right, you know what, fine. I'll just use my flint and steel and make us a fire. Thanks for trying though, Phil. I mean, you at least you did something. I'm sorry, guys. Did I mess up again? No, you, you didn't mess up, Phil. It's fine, okay? I'll just use the flint and steal on the fire over here. And there you go. You got yourself a fire. Is it just me or is anybody else hungry? Yeah, as much as I'd love to sit by this fire and warm up, we haven't eaten all day. Maybe we should go inside and use some of the stuff we gathered from that chest, make some dinner. <sighs> all right, guys, home sweet home. Got my armor all nice and put up on my armor stand here. Logan's got his bed over there. Oh, wow, guys. This place is huge. I've yeah. never been in a fort this size. Yeah, it, uh, it is definitely huge. We worked a lot on it. Uh, one question. Yeah? Where's my bed? Ah, uh, you are going to sleep under there. Right now, we only have two beds. I mean, I'm good anyway. I'm not used to a fort this big. All right, Friendly Phil, we'll put you under the second story there. I like to call it the basement. It is the luxurious part of the fort, okay? So you're going to be very nice and happy down there. Sounds good to me. So where do we eat? Well, guys, considering I found some milk as well as eggs inside the chest that we got, I think it's time that I go Papa Jake Chef a Boy RD. Now, we've had chicken. We've had apples. We've had watermelon. We've even had bread. But today... I'm gonna be using those milk and eggs to make us a little surprise. All right, so over here, guys, in the workshop, we've got all of our nice Minecraft stuff. As you've seen, we got the furnace, we got the loom, and what we're gonna be doing today is making a Papa Jake specialty. So we're gonna grab our eggs that we got from our chest, plop them here in the furnace like so. Once we've got the eggs inside the furnace, we add some fresh milk straight from the cow. Now with a little bit of magic, setting this furnace up here to a good 360 degrees Fahrenheit, we should be good to make my specialty. And after a couple of minutes, my Papa Jake specialty is complete. I present to you Le Cake de la Fasse. Made fresh from those two eggs and a little bit of milk, super easy to do at home. And now we have Oh, and also good cake to fill up our hearts and our stomach. Wait, Jake, you made that? Oh yeah, Logan, check it out. It's got cherries and everything. Don't mind if I do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Logan, Logan, Logan. We're civilized people in Minecraft, okay? You can't just eat it like that. We've got knives and forks. Um, that's a great cake. Dig in, bro. I mean, I like these rules. She built on the handle, what? 
Everyone, grab a piece of cake. Mmm, that tastes really good. Jake, that is not how cake is supposed to be eaten. I held it in and popped it up for Oh, I ate too much cake, Logan. My stomach's kind of hurting a little bit. Definitely ate too much cake. You ate, you ate a good amount though, right? Like, I ate maybe like one slice and you ate the rest? I didn't have any cake. Oh, yeah, that might explain why I have so much cake in my tummy. All right, guys, well, thanks for the cake. I guess I'll be going to bed now. See you in the morning. Good, good night, friendly fell. I guess now that we're done dinner, it's time to hit the hay. Wake up tomorrow and get back to working on the fort, gathering resources, you know, all the Minecraft stuff. Maybe I'll make another cake for breakfast. Close the door so we don't get any creepers or an enderman coming. Oh, oh no. Logan, get down quickly! Gee, the dragon! It's right fire! Get away from the windows! Let's hope this castle holds! Looks like he's flying away. He knows where we are. That might have just been a preliminary attack. He's probably testing our fortress. I've got no armor on. We need armor, enchanted swords, all the resources we can get. And to do that, we need materials. Yeah, and he'll be back sooner than later. Okay, I think right now what we need to do is gear up, gather all the resources we can, build our armor, build our weapons, so when he comes back for the final battle, we can take him out. Let's start by mining some snow. Check it out, I've got this sweet brand new Minecraft armor custom made for this battle. It might not be diamond, it might not be steel, but it's better than all of that. It's cardboard. Okay Jake, that's pretty cool, but maybe it's time to make me some armor. All right, let's get Logan some armor. Three, two, one, boom! We got you some brand new custom Ooh, Minecraft armor. That's looking pretty sweet, Jake. Oh yeah, it's box armor, dude. All right, my phone. Are you kidding me, Jake? Uh, Logan doesn't look like that armor fits it very well. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's gotta, you gotta push, you gotta, you gotta push, you gotta push through. Jake, my head doesn't fit you through the armor. You gotta your head, dude. You gotta, you gotta push your head through. My head's not gonna fit. All right, well, Lo Logan's gonna try and get his armor on. I'm gonna start crafting some more for me. Three, two, one, boom! We got ourselves a diamond sword. Come on, Jake, not fair. Okay, I, craft me a helmet at least. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All right. There you go. Really, Jake, this is my armor? Diamond infused styrofoam helmet. It's one of a kind. Capable of withstanding greater forces than you've ever seen. So I have a chest plate that doesn't fit and a goofy looking helmet. Logan, that helmet is gonna save you in this battle. Now it's time for my helmet. In three, two, one. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Here we go. Jake, why do you get such a cool looking helmet? So I'm gonna be taking the dragon head on. <sighs> now, I should be protected against the dragon's fire, as well as against any mobs that come after us. I think we're looking more and more ready to take on this battle. All right, guys, we're all geared up and ready to go. We got our armor on, we got our helmets, we got our swords, and we're ready to take on the dragon. Once he's here, I've got a plan to take him out. Oh no, we got skeletons. The dragon chose himself, then we'll make our attack. Come on, let's take the skeletons out. Let's go, let's take him out. Jake, we gotta be on the lookout. There could be more. Yeah, we got another one coming. Take him out. Ah. Woo. Another one down. Oh no, Jake, we got creepers. Here, Whoa. take my bow. Pass it. All right, creeper. Ah. Where's the dragon? He's not showing himself yet. He's just sending his minions to do his bidding. You guys will never beat the dragon. Oh no, we got a creeper. I got this one. Ah. 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 He broke my armor. He broke my armor. Jake, the dragon's gonna be coming any minute. Oh no. I think you spoke too soon, Logan. And do you hear the dragon's battle cry? It sounds awful. Oh, it's Friendly Phil. Friendly Phil, what's going on? The dragon! The dragon's here! The dragon! I know, I know, we're gonna stop him. Listen, Friendly, Friendly Phil, Friendly Phil, listen to me, okay? The listen dragon! To me. We're gonna take out the dragon, but I'm gonna need your help, okay? No, no, I'm going inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want you to go inside. Listen. Okay, okay, I'll do it, Jake. Right, now get inside. Jake, Close what did you gate. tell him? Don't worry, I got a plan to take down the dragon. Jake, I'll distract the dragon. It's now or never. Uh, let's do this, dragon. These flames are too strong. We just need to hold them at bay. I've got friendly Phil working on something. Logan, hit him with your arrow. All right, Jake, I got him. Nice shot, Logan. Phil, I'm gonna need you now! Jake, I got the TNT! 
Hey! Logan, distract him! We're going in. TNT is closed! We did it! We actually defeated the dragon, Logan! We actually beat the dragon! Dude, it's gone! We saved Minecraft! Where's Friendly Phil? He'll be so happy! Is he, is he gone? Yeah, we did it, Friendly Phil! We beat the dragon! You guys saved Minecraft! I knew you could do it! Took us a little while, but we did it! Yeah!